Hey, what you guys doing? Uh, we're just playing a game. What game? Fall of Cybertron. What? Fall of Cybertron? Can I play? Only three controllers, dude. Is that right? Me, Grimlock, played game now? Um. Hey, look! There's a free controller. Yeah. Hey, guys, and welcome to another Wackamas HD Reviews. This time I'm taking a look at the three elemental empowered insect ninjas from the fans project causality line. So let's check out these bug robots. Yes, these guys have some familiar faces, they're very reminiscent of some G1 counterparts. For that reason I'm going to dissect these guys one by one as their individual characters and who they represent. Of course, remember these aren't actual insecticons. This is Thunder Shred. And he may remind a few people a bit of a fella by the name of Shrapnel, one of the original G1 Insecticons. He's a giant bulky stag beetle, this version of him, and takes a lot of design cues from that original G1 counterpart. Some unique design elements include this cockpit styled head that Thundershred has, as well as these humongous giant pinchers, which he can use to destroy all Autobots who oppose him. But enough with this beetle's obsession. Let's check out the robot mode on this guy. Transformation on this guy is fairly simple and straightforward. In fact, that's probably my biggest complaint on this guy is it's just a little bit too simple and a little bit too straightforward. It's for that reason and that reason alone I can actually say I feel Thunder Shred is the weakest out of the trio. The warrior of the group Thunder Shred is granted the elemental powers of thunder and lightning. He has a beautiful head sculpt as well as these bladed gauntlet weapons which can be attached to him in robot mode giving him an almost wolverine style claw weapon. They clip on using the commonly used 3mm clip system. Thunder Shred also comes with a shuriken, a throwing star for ninjas. This shuriken is formed from some of the bits of the pinchers and has its own individual storage spot on Thunder Shred's back. But now it's time to take a look at the tactician of the group. This is Storm Bomb. He's a rhinoceros beetle and may remind a lot of people of a character by the name of Bombshock, another G1 Insecticon. Storm Bomb's alt mode is super clean and super compact, which is something I really like about this mold. He has a very unique aesthetic using very square edges and round curves that make up most of the body shape to this guy. Storm Bomb is probably the strongest out of the three figures in my personal opinion, and my personal favorite out of the three. His transformation is very involved and very satisfying to do. One thing I have to say, I don't know whose idea it was to have the bug legs fold up the way they do on Stormbomb's calves, but I really, really like the look of it. Stormbomb has a very creepy and menacing appearance to him in robot mode. It adds to the very unique aesthetic that he has going with a chain hanging off the back of him and some very creepy looking optics. Stormbomb also comes with some very unique weapon choices, featuring a comma-styled weapon and a psi-styled weapon. These are ninja weapons that can be used individually with Stormbomb, or if you'd like you can also use them in unison using the featured chain that comes with Stormbomb. And yes, it is a real metal chain. My biggest complaint though is in his waist, where the mold can be slightly broken up due to articulation. He also comes with the element symbol of wind. But now it's time to take a look at the third and final member of the Causality Insects. This is Backfiery, the leader of the group, and he may remind some of a G1 counterpart called Kickback. And as many have probably realized, he is a grasshopper. Not breaking with tradition, Backfiery has his very own appearance and style much like his fellow counterparts. He uses a lot of pointy sharp bits and a lot of harsh lines and angles to create his appearance. This boasts really well for the uniqueness of Backfiery's appearance that he has going for him. 
Some really interesting design features that I like is some thrusters mounted onto his abdomen, which is for backfiring, I guess. As well as some really clever weapon storage, which implements his weapons for ridges along his legs in his grasshopper mode. Again, I only have one real complaint on this guy, which is that he suffers from VHS, which makes the antenna for his robot mode stick out like sore thumbs. Backfiry's transformation can be a little finicky, and a little bit more involved than most people are used to with their traditional transforming robots. Most will probably not be used to the way that Backfiry transforms, in fact they may feel it's overly complicated. He has a lot of small tiny bits that overlap one another, but it's not something the average person won't be able to master with a couple times of transforming this guy. It's complicated and overwhelming the first couple times, but once you get the hang of it, it's rather simple. But you can't argue with the results. Backfiry is pretty, and very highly posable. Backfiry being the flyer of the group has a set of wings which you're able to pose either up or down to whatever configuration you choose to display him in. For weapons, this guy comes with six very sharp and deadly kunai. These six Japanese throwing knives can be stored either on Backfiry's legs, or he can wield them in his hands like some kind of dagger master. You can also throw them at oncoming Autobot foes, but a word of caution, these things are very small and may be lost very easily. Also, Backfiry comes with an element symbol of fire. The Causality Insecticons are an interesting and fun trio, and one I can highly recommend. They will probably hit some's wallets a little hard if they can find these guys, but for a reasonable price they're a worthwhile pickup. Each character is individual in personality and design, which makes them unique as trio sets go. They have weak points such as Thunder Shred's overly simplistic design versus Backfiry's overly complicated and finicky design. However, the good far outweighs the bad with these guys. They are also perfect to help fill out your already sparse universe Decepticons line. These guys make a great addition to anybody's classic shelf and are still very enjoyable for myself. As modernized representations of the original G1 Insecticon, these guys do terrific. These figures show how Fans Project continue to go above and beyond what others are producing and why they remain some of the best developers out there. Anyways guys, I hope this has been helpful. This has been Chowak Miss Prime saying goodnight to you. And don't let the bed bugs bite ya. There's something about this video that just bugs me.